Up till now, we've been putting islets in patients inside the liver, and we've done that about 500 times. It's worked well for us, but it has limitations. Only a proportion of the cells that we inject in survive, just a very small proportion. And as a result of that, we have to use two, sometimes three, organ donors to provide sufficient cells to reverse diabetes. So we're looking now in the lab using stem cells, human stem cells that make insulin. And we realized rapidly that if we wanted to test those cells in patients, it would be difficult to test them inside the liver because if there was a problem with them or we need to biopsy them, we'd have to take a piece of the liver out or even take out the whole liver. And that's a bit of a big deal, the patient needs a liver transplant. So if we could find a better site to put them, it would make a lot of sense. And we've been working and looking, in fact, in patients in a number of different sites. And we tested islets in three patients in that uh, uh, skin site. We've also just recently done transplants in patients where we put the cells under the lining of the stomach. So here we wondered whether or not we might be able to get islets to survive under the skin. And up till now, it's been nearly impossible to get islet cells or, or other cells to survive under the skin because there isn't an adequate blood supply. So what we've done in these studies, published in Nature Biotech yesterday, is to try to modify the skin site, trick the body into making new blood vessels so that we can implant our cells and they would go into an enriched environment. And we've been working on that maybe for about 10 or 12 years. And what we've taken is basically a, a thin plastic tube, exactly the same as this one, which is a sterile tube that's used routinely on a day-to-day -day basis in patients, actually in the x-ray department. Uh, and we planted that into uh, in our preclinical models for about a month and what that does is it creates massive new ingrowth of blood vessels and then we can put our transplanted cells in there. We've tested islets, we've tested human islets, we've tested other islets, we've tested human stem cells in there and they work, they engraft. In fact, the studies that we published in this paper, 91% of the islet cells completely reverse diabetes in these models. So. We're encouraged by it. We're not quite ready to do this in our first patient yet, but um, the results are very promising, and it certainly is very safe, it's very simple, and it has a lot of advantages, not only for islet cell transplantation, but other cell transplants in the future.